Nestled within the quiet and unassuming confines of Kingston, a quaint town seemingly untouched by the hustle and bustle of the outside world, resided the peculiar figure known as Barney Bumblewit. Unbeknownst to many, Barney was a man whose intellectual capabilities hovered below the average threshold, leading him to unintentionally navigate life through a series of comical missteps and bewildering blunders. His days were marked by a series of mishaps that ranged from inadvertently wearing mismatched shoes to mistaking salt for sugar in the local diner. Yet, amidst the collective sighs and occasional chuckles of the townsfolk, Barney's life took an unexpected turn when fate decided to intervene with an uncommon twist. Little did anyone suspect that his seemingly ordinary existence would collide with an extraordinary event, an ill-fated prison escape that would not only alter the course of Barney's life but also leave an indelible mark on the fabric of Kingston's history. The sleepy town of Kingston, once known for its serene simplicity, now bore witness to an unfolding drama that captivated the imagination of its residents. Barney Bumblewit, the unwitting protagonist, was inadvertently caught in the crossfire between the forces of order and the chaos that ensued from the criminal's desperate bid for freedom. As the town braced itself for the unforeseen consequences of Barney's involvement, the once tranquil streets became a stage for a peculiar blend of humor and suspense, marking a chapter in Kingston's history that would be recounted with a mix of disbelief and amusement for generations to come. Barney, an unwitting resident of the notorious Kingston Penitentiary, found himself confined within its imposing walls, a fortress that had successfully contained even the most elusive criminals. Unfazed by the grim reputation of his surroundings, Barney, in a state of blissful ignorance regarding his own limitations, clung fiercely to audacious aspirations. Despite the seemingly insurmountable challenges that incarceration presented, he nurtured extravagant dreams of orchestrating a daring escape, envisioning a future adorned with the trappings of opulence and freedom. The oppressive atmosphere of the prison did little to quell Barney's determination, instead, it fueled his fervent desire to transcend the confines of his current reality and forge a path toward a life of luxury beyond the prison bars. The narrative unfolded with Barney embarking on the initial chapters of his escape saga, a tale marked by the ingenuity of a peculiar protagonist. The genesis of his breakout scheme stemmed from the acquisition of a seemingly innocuous tool, a rock hammer discreetly nestled among the prison's art supplies. Barney, however, showcased his signature blend of determination and unwitting naivety when, true to his nature, he misidentified the invaluable instrument as a humble potato peeler. Undeterred by this comical misunderstanding, he pressed forward with undiminished resolve. Undaunted by the prospect of scaling the prison's towering stone walls with what he believed to be a culinary utensil. In the surreal juxtaposition of the dire situation and Barney's earnest yet misguided efforts, he boldly approached the formidable barrier, brandishing his potato peeler as if it were the key to his impending liberation. As Barney diligently chipped away at the prison wall, his efforts bore a striking resemblance to the earnest but clumsy strokes of a toddler wielding a crayon. The guards, initially taken aback by the audacity of his escape attempt, observed the spectacle unfolding before them with a mix of disbelief and bemusement. The incongruity of Barney's chosen tool for liberation, an artfully misinterpreted potato peeler, added a layer of surrealism to the scene, leaving the onlookers dumbfounded. In a twist of irony, the guards, finding amusement in the sheer absurdity of the situation, approached Barney with a mixture of laughter and disbelief. Before long, their intervention thwarted his misguided endeavor. The confiscated potato peeler became a symbol of both folly and determination as Barney, undeterred by the laughter echoing through the prison corridors, was escorted back to his cell with the tool of his misadventure and a stern warning ringing in his ears. Determined to prove that he wasn't one to be deterred easily, Barney devised a new plan. This time, he believed he could tunnel his way to freedom using a spoon. Yes, a regular prison-issue spoon. Barney reasoned that if it worked for characters in cartoons, it should work for him. Under the cover of darkness, Barney diligently toiled away night after night, burrowing his tunnel with a determination that mirrored the ceaseless energy of a hamster spinning on its wheel. The prison's subterranean depths became his clandestine workshop, 
and with each passing day, the tunnel expanded beneath the unsuspecting guard's feet. However, amidst his fervor for freedom, Barney overlooked a pivotal detail, the discreet disposal of the excavated dirt. In a twist of irony, his cellmate, the astute and ironically named Wiley Wilkins, had taken notice of Barney's peculiar nocturnal activities. Unbeknownst to Barney, Wiley had been silently collecting the displaced soil in a makeshift sack, assuming that his cellmate's eccentricity had taken an unusual turn. While Barney's tunnel progressed, the dirt pile grew in tandem, hidden from the watchful eyes of the prison guards by Wiley's resourceful subterfuge. The dynamic between the unwitting digger and his observant cellmate added a layer of unexpected camaraderie to the unfolding escape plot, unbeknownst to both the enthusiastic tunneler and his unwitting accomplice. The meticulously devised plan unfolded with a touch of unexpected hilarity as Barney, the unsuspecting mastermind, emerged on the opposite end of the prison compound only to be greeted by an unforeseen spectacle. To his bewilderment, he found himself encircled by a towering mound of dirt, a testament to the unintentional chaos that had ensued. The guards, their expressions a mix of astonishment and confusion, were quick to respond to this unexpected turn of events. In a moment of comedic revelation, Wiley, the supposed brains behind the operation, recognized the comical blunder. With a nonchalant shrug, he relinquished the sack he had been carrying and offered a half-hearted explanation, I thought he was redecorating. The absurdity of the situation lingered in the air, leaving everyone, including the guards, bemused by the unexpected detour from the initial escape plan. Back in his cell, Barney contemplated his next move. He decided to be more discreet this time and enlisted the help of his fellow inmates in a brilliant escape scheme involving a makeshift hot air balloon. The plan, however, required a large supply of helium. Barney, relying on what he believed to be a stroke of genius, decided to procure helium from the prison commissary, completely oblivious to the potential consequences of inflating a balloon within the confines of the prison walls. As he filled the balloon with helium, anticipating a whimsical and light-hearted escape plan, little did he grasp the imminent chaos that would ensue. The moment the helium-filled balloon lifted him off the ground, it triggered a cascade of pandemonium. Inmates and guards alike found themselves caught in an unexpected spectacle as the gravitational rules of the prison momentarily lost their grip. The scene unfolded in a riotous manner, with individuals floating in all directions, creating a surreal and ludicrous sight. The once-ordered prison environment was transformed into a chaotic ballet of levitating figures, leaving everyone agape at the unintended consequences of Barney's unconventional escape attempt. The helium-induced escapade became a memorable chapter in the annals of the prison's history, showcasing the unpredictability that can arise when creativity collides with the constraints of reality. The prison now resembled a bizarre carnival, complete with floating convicts and confused guards desperately trying to catch them. Barney, unable to control his helium-powered ascent, crashed into the warden's office, sending paperwork and office supplies flying in all directions. As he lay there, tangled in balloon strings, the warden glared down at him. Barney's dreams of a triumphant escape were once again deflated, much like his ill-fated balloon. The warden, however, was so amused by the spectacle that he decided to give Barney a chance at redemption. The catch? Barney had to participate in the prison talent show and win the hearts of the audience. Determined to make the best of his situation, Barney enlisted the help of his fellow inmates to put on a show-stopping performance. The night of the talent show arrived, and the prison auditorium was filled with inmates, guards, and even a few local townspeople who had heard about the spectacle. Barney took the stage with a ukulele in hand, accompanied by a makeshift band of fellow inmates playing instruments made from confiscated items. As Barney began to strum and sing, the entire audience was captivated by the sheer absurdity of his performance. His lyrics were nonsensical, his singing was off-key, and the band's instruments barely held together, it was a true masterpiece of unintentional comedy. To everyone's surprise, the performance was met with roaring applause and laughter. The warden, amused by the unexpected turn of events, declared Barney the winner of the talent show. As a reward, he granted Barney a day of freedom within the prison grounds, accompanied by a guard, 
of course. Barney, having achieved an almost mythical status among the prison inmates, reveled in the joy of his newfound freedom, relishing simple pleasures that were once unimaginable within the confines of the prison walls. His day of liberation unfolded as a series of unconventional escapades, beginning with leisurely sunbathing in the prison courtyard, a luxury he had long been denied. Basking in the warm sunlight, he became a symbol of rebellion and audacity, drawing the attention and admiration of his fellow convicts who looked up to him as a hero. Emboldened by his popularity, Barney decided to take the camaraderie a step further, organizing an impromptu picnic with his fellow inmates. Little did Barney realize that his local legend status would become the catalyst for the most audacious escape attempt yet. The inmates, inspired by his boldness and fueled by a collective desire for freedom, began hatching an outrageous plan that surpassed even Barney's wildest imagination. The prison, now abuzz with whispers and clandestine meetings, became a hotbed of conspiratorial energy as the inmates plotted their grand escape. Barney, unwittingly becoming the unwitting leader of this rebellion, found himself at the center of a daring scheme that would test the limits of creativity and daring within the confines of their prison reality. The day of simple pleasures transformed into the precursor of a daring and unprecedented adventure, with Barney unwittingly steering his fellow inmates toward an escape attempt that would go down in the annals of prison history as both audacious and legendary. Fueled by the enthusiastic support of his fellow inmates, Barney, now a symbolic leader of the rebellious group, conceived an audacious plan that embodied the very essence of desperation and creativity. The blueprint for his escape involved the ingenious construction of a makeshift catapult, a contraption cobbled together from broomsticks and bed sheets. The daring strategy was nothing short of a spectacle, as Barney envisioned soaring over the imposing prison walls and landing on the other side, where the welcoming embrace of the nearby forest beckoned. However, the devil, as they say, is in the details, and in this case, the plan was riddled with flaws that cast a shadow over its brilliance. The bed sheet wings, supposed to act as a makeshift parachute, seemed more likely to resemble a flimsy kite caught in an unpredictable breeze. The broomstick frame, although crafted with prison ingenuity, was an untested marvel, raising doubts about its structural integrity. As the moment of truth approached, it became apparent that the grandeur of the escape plan clashed with the practical realities of execution. The only flaw in this brilliantly concocted scheme was, well, everything. Despite the collective enthusiasm of the inmates and Barney's charismatic leadership, the makeshift catapult stood as a testament to the unpredictable nature of prison escapades. The imminent attempt promised a blend of daring courage and slapstick comedy, encapsulating the spirit of inmates yearning for freedom amidst the harsh reality of their confined existence. Whether the plan would catapult them into the annals of legendary escapes or become a comedic misadventure remained to be seen. But one thing was certain, Barney and his comrades were determined to defy the odds and seize a moment of liberation, flaws notwithstanding. As Barney soared through the air, propelled by the makeshift catapult, he realized too late that he had overshot his target. Instead of landing in the forest, he crashed headfirst into the warden's garden, demolishing flower beds and scattering gnomes in every direction. The warden, a serene figure engrossed in the delicate task of nurturing his prized roses, abruptly shifted his attention when the tranquil ambience of the garden was shattered. His eyes widened in disbelief as Barney, emerging from the wreckage like a modern-day phoenix, presented a spectacle of chaos. Covered in a layer of dirt that seemed to tell the tale of an unexpected journey, Barney stood amidst the remnants of what was once a serene garden, now transformed into a scene of mayhem. A swirling cloud of feathers danced around him, a surreal testament to the garden's decimated ornamental chickens, their once stately presence now reduced to scattered plumes. The warden's expression morphed from one of peaceful contemplation to one of astonishment, as he grappled with the sudden intrusion and the surreal tableau that now unfolded before him. Barney, ever the optimist, flashed a toothy grin and exclaimed, Well, at least I made it over the wall, right? The warden, torn between frustration and amusement, shook his head. Bumblewit, you truly are one of a kind. Back to your cell. Sadly Barney Bumblewit returned to his cell at Kingston Penitentiary, 
his dreams of escape shattered but his spirit unbroken. Little did he know that his absurd adventures would become the stuff of prison legend, retold by inmates for years to come. As Barney settled into his routine behind bars, he couldn't help but smile. After all, in the world of Kingston Penitentiary, where foolishness reigned supreme, he was the undisputed king of comedic chaos. And so, the legend of Barney Bumblewit, the man with the Shawshankless redemption, lived on in the annals of Kingston history, a tale of laughter, misadventures, and the enduring spirit of the eternally clueless. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our original stories, then please like and subscribe, and share and leave comments.